was intense. Two stags fighting at like literally like 15, 20 yards. <sighs> they couldn't get a shot at either of them. I don't know which one. They had both had their antlers in the ground. We couldn't say which what was what. Turns out they were both awesome. This was sort of hard because they're, they're against each other and they move and then they go on again. So it's, you sort of know you wait till they're, they're near to stop nearly. Oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome at the same time. That was so cool. They both ran past it like 10 yards. None of them would stop. And it turns out that yeah, the wind's sort of going that way anyway, so they've, they've obviously smelled us. <sighs> I'm disappointed at the same time, that was awesome. So we just spotted a chittle stag. We've sort of come down to get the wind right. And this patch of trees behind me is the last time we seen him. So we've got a area probably about 300 metres or 400 metres away now. And as we made our way over to this tree line, we've seen a pretty handy rooster stag. He looks sort of around the 30 mark. And we've got a few things to contend with. We've got potentially does in better down in the tree line and cattle either side. So it's just after three. We've slowly made our way to this dam bank here. And that rooster stag still better down. Uh, we, we spotted that chittle stag as well. It's it's a little bit, oh, I guess you could say a bit of a cull. It's got like small inners. It's about, I don't know, probably about 25 or 26 inches by the look of it. He's better down in the shade there and there's a, oh, there's probably about six or seven does there with him. There's about three or four that's made, made their way to the rooster. And I think there's about four still left in the shade. So we're just gonna slowly creep around the side here and use this bank as cover and then make our way up behind and stick in the shade and yeah, try and find those other does. Wait for them to move out and then see if we can get a shot at that chittle. Wishful thinking, but we'll give, we'll give it a shot. The stag's better than some long grass. Those does that were just moved out, just moved back in, so I've got like six does to contend with now, so it's gonna be tough. I'm just going to make our way along this dam bank here, try and find a shady spot and then assess the situation from then on.
those there. We thought there was six those there. <laughs> uh. Well, um, luckily, luckily we had like it was it sort of worked out perfect because the wind sort of got up, and when we rode back over behind us here, 20, 30 yards, it was like dead still, and it was just like tippy time. But then the wind got up, and we made probably 30 yards in about within a minute, and allowed us to get down in a position. Um, so he would just stand up, or hopefully, this is what we had in our heads, he would stand up, we're sort of hunkered down the grass and hopefully he wouldn't see us. Either walk out there or, or in, in his case, what he'd done is turn around and rubbed on a, on a um, little, uh, whatever these little branches are, and just rubbed on that and it was just like, happened perfect. Um, but yeah, like we had literally like 20 or 15, 20 does look at us and sort of they weren't quite sure what we were, but they were sort of happy and they sort of slowly made their way off. And yeah, it was only going to matter, matter of time and he was going to stand up and yeah, do something, either give us a shot or possibly even walk off. But if that was the case, then I would have had a shot somewhere along there. But in, his, yeah, in our case, it worked out perfect. He turned around and allowed us to get up and get a shot over those, um, over that grass. So yeah, worked out perfect. Anyway, I'll go have a look at him. Like those chittles are just so hard to see when they're laying down. It's unbelievable. And we, we glassed this area for literally like a good hour. And we, we seen six and it ended up being like 15 or 20. There. Some there. Blood on the grass there. More down here. Blood on that. It's only a little spurt. I suppose he's running pretty fast though. There's my arrow. Blood in through here. Not much down towards the end of it, but. It's surprising there's none down this way, but sort of up through there, I'd say that would have been obviously gone straight through and that's a snapped off obviously on that tree. Anyway, it, yeah, he's only made it probably yeah, 60 yards down inside, which is awesome. Still going to be sharp too. It's cool when it all comes together like that. Sort of dream of that kind of stuff. The stags turn around, rubbing trees, and giving you, letting you draw, uh, draw back, and you know, execute a good shot. It's perfect. That's what we do it for. That's what I know I do it for. To be able to put it all together, make a stalk from like I don't know, like 300 metres away, plant it, and then like two hours later, you have them on the ground. It's and it all works out perfect. Yeah, it's unreal. It's all your bow hunt. Oh my god, I'm gonna never get sick of it. Look at his big swollen neck. It's like unreal. It's just that swollen. The... You can just tell his yeah. scars all over his face, you know, scars on his ears, down his neck. Big fat neck. Just an old animal, just unreal. Old and wise, but unfortunately not today. We had the upper hand, but very appreciative. It's 
Stepping out the door, I'm doing what feels right. Following my law through the darkest night. And when the path gets narrow, I follow him. And when the world comes down the road, I'll be with him. Following my law. 